This is Justin Case of American Newscape joining our friend and lifestyle luminary Joyce Rockwood. Joyce joins us sharing three easy ways to use essential oils. Greetings, Joyce. Welcome back to American Newscape. This one's going to be smellerific. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Joyce, you've spoken with us about many natural options for increasing our vitality and for reversing illness. Last time you took us on a deeper journey with why food combining is so important. Today you're here to help further our knowledge base with three easy ways to use essential oils so we can see how easy they are to work with. Before you share the three easy ways to use essential oils, can you share why you started working with them? Absolutely. First of all, thanks again for having me back. It's one of my favorite things to talk about, elevating people's well-being and helping them feel more independently healthy. And I had been working clinically in my wellness center, uh, two, two very successful wellness centers out of New York City, proud to say, and then another one out of LA. And as I departed from doing clinical work with clients one-on-one -on -one in the area of gravity, colon hydrotherapy, and nutritional counseling, I was on the hunt for something that would align with my own personal philosophy of elevating my clients' well-being and helping them to feel more independently healthy and helping them to really feel like they were reclaiming their vitality. And this tool that I was looking for had to align, again, with my, my own needs because I would be working with it and using it. And it had to be safe, it had to be natural, and it had to be, you bet, very effective. <laughs> it had to work. And I had to, it had to be something that we could rely on, my clients and I together, because if I'm going to be supporting them with tools that they are going to be taking home or learning how to use, and they don't work, then that's not good for anyone, right? So I had a reputation to uphold, but I also had to find something that would allow me to make an impact on their lives and allow them to feel more empowered. And so when I first started working with essential oils, I only knew about them as just a pretty scent. I had never been exposed to the aromatic science behind them and how they actually work which is funny because I was actually having a very specific personal experience with them, but I just didn't understand what was happening. I didn't really know what was happening inside of my body, even though that, that, that experience was something that I was going through. And what I mean by that is when we, I, I'm someone who's very drawn to scent, I love the way things smell in terms of walking into a room. I'm very perceptive if I walk into a room and it doesn't smell well and how it makes me feel. It can make me feel icky or unsettled or turned off, right? I think we've all had that kind of experience, but we may not have recognized it versus walking into a room where you can. Uh, oh, you're back. Hello? <laughs> you're back. Little technical difficulties here. And walking into a room. Okay. Walking into a room and someone has fresh cut roses or lilies or lilacs, you smell those roses and you actually feel very uplifted. You can feel a sense of openness. And so when I came across these particular essential oils and I was invited to a class and I started to see how they work on a very deep cellular level and understand how they're working neurologically with our brain, well, my hunt for that tool was over. So I started working with them because I started to see how they were a perfect fit for my three pillar process of working with people and helping them learn how to nourish their bodies, detoxify deeper, and really rejuvenate their cells in a deep fashion. And we're going to talk a little bit about those three cool ways, easy ways to work with them today. Cool. Yeah. So. The first cool way, the first easy way to work with essential oils is aromatically. So I'm going to hold up my wild orange oil. <laughs> I call it the gateway essential oil. This was the very first essential oil I ever inhaled. It was at that class that I went to. It's a very thin oil, so it comes up very fast. So we're just going to go slowly there. We just get one drop on the palm. I can see it there. And 
inhale. So using the oil aromatically, I've even got my diffuser right here. It's pumping out my adaptive oil, which is one of the calming blends that allows us to feel more focused. But when I first smelled this wild orange oil in that class that I went to, I was blown away because I had been using essential oils and I had been using a wild orange oil. It didn't smell like this. <laughs> and I thought, wait a minute, what the heck have I been working with? And what have I been smelling if it smelled so differently? And why does this one smell so splendid and so fresh and crisp? It didn't have any of that sort of like acidic bite afterwards. Sometimes when you smell those oils, they just kind of like die out really quickly. So this is cold pressed from the rind of the orange. The reason why it smells so different from the ones that I had been using is because of its grade and quality and purity, which makes it more potent. So when we breathe in an essential oil, and I can still get those aromatic constituents coming off of my skin right now, even though I rubbed it into my skin and you don't see it, you don't even have any greasy residue, it's gone because these essential oils are very volatile. That means that they pop into the air very quickly. They ev evaporate very readily. But when you rub them into your skin and breathe them in, what's happening is you're allowing those really tiny microscopic aromatic constituents, those particles that pop into the air that allow you to smell the oils sometimes before you even brought your hands to your face, those tiny molecules are getting absorbed in the sinus cavity, right? We have all of these little receptors in our nose and they transport those molecules up to the limbic system of your brain, which means we've talked about this before. If anyone here has seen me speak about how the essential oils work with your neuro neurological system, that means your brain is exposed to the outside, which is pretty fascinating. I don't think any of us really think about that. And the part of your brain, the limbic system, that these oils are absorbing into is the same part of your brain that processes stored emotions and trauma. It's the part of the brain that manages cardiovascular response and so when you breathe those oils in, you're actually able to have a neural response in 22 seconds. I actually think it's a lot faster, but let's stick with the science, okay? And so when that happens, you can calm yourself down in a moment where you're feeling unsettled. What if you're going to begin traveling again and you're flying and that's not something you're always comfortable with? What if there's turbulence in the plane and you're like, I need to deal with this. I don't want to start freaking out. What if you are going into an interview for a new job, things are opening up? What if you're just the type of individual who struggles on a day-to-day -day basis with anxious feelings, with negative thoughts, with negative thinking? And you need a way to start really empowering yourself so that you can move through your day and accomplish what is required of you, whether you are single or you are a parent and you're taking care of a family. These little tiny microscopic particles are so powerful they are life-changing so aromatically that's the first easy way you're going to work with your essential oils and although i was a human diffuser a moment ago by just putting the oils on my palms the other way to work with them in a more systematic fashion aromatically is by using a diffuser so this is a cool mist diffuser back here and what's really wonderful about it is it has these colored lights you could see them changing here and <laughs> this has an automatic shut off this is a frosted glass beautiful diffuser so it is a really lovely add-on to any decor for those of you who are into aesthetics like i am and it has um, up to eight hours of pumping activity and it works really well in a room that's about 330 square feet. And it's pretty incredible that you can just set this up, get it pumping, and throughout the room, these little aromatic particles are floating around, elevating your well-being, improving your, your breathing, your mental acuity, your mental cognition, improving your immunity maybe helping you sleep better at night or stay more energized throughout the day, depending on the oils that you choose, you can have a very unique, different, you know, a unique and different type of experience. So 
Um, part of the beauty of working with essential oils is their versatility. So no matter what you may be dealing with, coping with, or currently struggling with, it would be my honor to show you how easy it is to turn that beat around with these aromatics. Okay, so that's our first easy and cool way. Can I interject Aromatic. real quick? I hope you will. <laughs> <laughs> she says in jest. Um, <laughs> wild orange is our essential oil of choice, and we use it all the time. And uh, we diffuse mm -hmm. it into the bedroom. And we kept, mm -hmm. hear we kept hearing bees. We kept hearing bees. <laughs> and we kept hearing bees. And where those bees were, they would smell that, that wild orange essential oil. And this time of year in the desert yeah. southwest, the bees are going into starvation mode. So they're out there mm -hmm. looking for any form of pollen, anything that they can take back to the hive. And they're also swarming. So they're looking for places to build new hives. And where those bees were, they were in the exhaust venting of the bathroom exhaust fans. <laughs> and as soon as we oh, turn, turned off the diffuser in about an hour, they would go away. Wow, that's a pretty cool science experiment right there. So I would, I would, I would hazard to guess that these are pretty authentic. I mean, if you can fool the bees. <laughs> yeah, you can send them over here and put them into this nest. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I have that experience too, though, when I go outside sometimes to work on my computer. Uh, if I'm wearing my oils, which I always am, <laughs> I'm like, all right, guys, all the bugs are always flying around me, you know. So there are actually oils that you can work with. Um, Terra Shield. <laughs> it's probably the one I should be using instead of the florals. <laughs> this is our outdoor repellent blend. Okay, so instead of using toxic things on the skin in the summer when you're going hiking, you can use essential oils that actually trigger a barrier around you to repel those insects and bugs. Right? Cool. Cool. And plants do that too on their own. That's the beauty of nature. Certain plants have certain oils that repel certain insects and certain um, oils of the plant organically attract certain insects that will eat bacteria and things like that off of them and keep them safe and sound. Cool. Beauty. The nature of be the beauty of nature. Okay, so that's our first easy way is aromatically. Let's talk about the second cool way, the second easy way, which is topically. This is my adaptive and a roller. I have it diffusing, as I mentioned. This is our calming blend. It's also an example of doTERRA's commitment. That's the company that I work with. It's the, an example of their commitment to science and research. They're very, uh, uh, very heartfelt company based and rooted in a mission of healing on a global level and also education of the product to those who choose to work with it and humanitarian work around the globe, which they've been highly recognized for in terms of reversing poverty in many of the um, once poverty stricken nations. And this particular oil, everybody loves, everybody loves this one. It's hard to not fall in love with adaptive. Our first oil of choice we've been talking about so far all day today is wild orange, lavender, another crowd favorite, copaiba spearmint, rosemary, the oil of knowledge and transition, really wonderful oil for brain health, for memory, for those who are getting on in their years and start to have some of those um, lesser frequent abilities to remember things of like, what just happened yesterday? Where did I put my keys? <laughs> we, we, call then, those, we call those senior moments, Joyce. Senior moments. <laughs> Yeah, so we can call rosemary the oil of senior moments cool. or resolving senior moments. And neroli, another favorite of mine in the florals, sweet gum. And so topically, this is an easy way to work with your oils. We put sometimes the undiluted version. We can make these rollers ourselves. Let me turn this around. There we go, somewhere. There it is. We can take the undiluted version and fill like a quarter of the bottle with it and then fill the rest with something which is called fractionated coconut oil. If you're unfamiliar with this, when I first learned about essential oils, this was the first exposure I had to fractionated coconut oil. And it's different than regular coconut oil. What they do with this is they remove the long chain fatty acids or cells and they allow it now because on the skin, 
It's much more absorbable than regular coconut oil. And what it does is it goes onto the skin, it leaves it super silky smooth, but there's no greasy residue. So it won't get on your clothes and stain them. It doesn't have any fragrance. So that means it won't interfere with the beautiful existing scent of adaptive or whatever oil it is that you are creating in a roller. And it gives your essential oils more surface coverage. These particular oils that we work with are highly potent. They are medical grade. They are being studied by top universities and hospitals. Sometimes you just need one drop, one drop, one drop of oil. And so how are you going to spread one drop of this very volatile essential oil on your entire belly if you have stomach upset? Well, it's going to evaporate before you can even move it around. So well, this is adaptive. We probably wouldn't be using adaptive for that, but we certainly would be using one called Digest Zen. And you could just roll it on the belly and rub it in. And if you had like any gas or bloating with this cool stainless steel roller top and you rub it in probably five, like five minutes later, you're going to feel nothing <laughs> because that discomfort is going to go away. So they work very fast. That's the other reason I love working with them is how effective they are. So creating more surface coverage with your fractionated coconut oil without any interference of any additional fragrance. The other reason you want to work with the fractionated coconut oil is because this is always liquid at room temperature. Okay. Regular coconut oil in the colder months, this way, this it's, everything's backwards. <laughs> um, it doesn't get solid. Like regular coconut oil, it get hard. It will, it will get hard and then you have to like melt it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So this one is always liquid, ready to roll for you. Okay. And it is also a wonderful way to make sure we're using our oils in the most economic fashion because with this particular grade, less is more. And I, that is one of the hardest things for my clients to understand and appreciate when we first start working with them until of course they have an experience where they're like, Oh my God, I used way too much. I didn't need that much. I'm going to go back to what you said and really reduce the dosage. Okay. So topical. And whenever we're having any discomforts, we just go to right, right to that area. If we're having, like I say, the belly upset, we put it right on the belly. If we're having ear discomfort, we put it around the side of the ear. We don't put the oils directly inside the ear canal. We can even put the oils on a cotton ball if we're having that inner ear pain. And lavender and tea tree are two of my favorites for inner, inner ear pain, especially for little kids. That was the thing I used to suffer with the most. You just put the cotton ball on the outside. You can use a piece of first aid tape and just tape it across. And then the fumes of the essential oil will get inside of the ear canal and support the reduction of that discomfort pretty much overnight. It's pretty magical. And then the other way you could use them is for pain. I know I work with a lot of people having pain and discomfort. I work with professional athletes and sometimes just elderly individuals, people in their fifties who just aren't exercising. And then they're like, okay, I need to start moving again. And I'm starting to feel the, the aches and the pains from having worked out and not having worked out in a while. So uh, shoulders, we just put the, whatever the essential oil is of choice. Sometimes it's, um, one that I have here called Deep Blue. Where's my Deep Blue? Do I have my Deep Blue? I have my Deep Blue. And then we put this in a roller. And this is wonderful. It's kind of like um, like an icy hot kind of response on the skin. And so it's very camphoraceous, wintergreen, peppermint, camphor, blue tansy, things of that nature that really help to open up the nerves, act as a vasodilator, reduce the inflammation, and just start triggering a response with bone and blood health. All right. So those are some of the ways we can use the oils topically. That's the second way, the second easy way. Cool. And then the third, oh, did you have a question? No, I don't. I've tried the camphor blue. It's very effective. And uh, uh, the deep blue, uh, the, deep <laughs> the camphor blue. I say camphor. You just renamed I, it. I believe that's what's doing the, doing the job, but okay, I'll, back to you. It is. <laughs> back to it you. It is. Um, the other wonderful thing about the deep blue that my clients really love, I'm working with a gentleman right now. He's my age. He's 50, well, I'll be 51 in June. He's 51 now. And he, he had a sciatic problem and he was unable to work out. He was in too much pain. 
And now it, then he was, of course, what's the domino effect? Everyone experiences, right? The COVID gain. Everyone's gaining COVID weight. He was just gaining weight because he couldn't work out. He was in too much pain to do that. So we started working together. And in a week, I got a, a bunch of texts from him. I even got another one yesterday. He says, I'm doing great. I'm feeling amazing. I'm exercising. I'm feeling happy. So because we were able to reduce his pain and really reduce that inflammation, he went back into the gym safely, easily. He didn't go bonkers and do a million things. He just went in nice and easy and he started working out more routinely. And now he's feeling better, right? Immensely and emotionally because we also start to, the endorphins to row through the head when we move our body. We have better bowel movements because motion and activity creates motility in the gut. All the things. I mean, it's just amazing what the oils can really afford the body in health and transformation. All right, let's go to the third easy way to work with essential oils. This one is the one that most of you might be like, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm going to say no, I'm not. It's science. It's science here. I'm going to grab, uh, what am I going to take? Verdict is still out. How about green mandarin? Who likes green mandarin? People are like, wait, green mandarin? Aren't those unripened mandarins? Yeah, but... We make sure that we can use the ones that might not ripen or we grab some that are before they're ripened. And one of the ways we can use this particular grade, I would never recommend this for anything in just like your common store because these particular oils you can only work with and get, you know, through someone like myself. Um, you wouldn't really be doing what I'm about to do with like a store-bought oil because they're unfortunately not tested and they're not pure and they're not they're not really intended for the for this use. It's ingesting. Ah. Yes. So if you see on the side of a doTERRA bottle, these little supplement facts, okay, supplement facts, that means that you can take this oil and one drop. That's all you need. And you can put it in your water. And before you even drink it, I'm smelling it. I'm having that first easy way experience, right, which is aromatic. for whole body health and wellness. Now, the oil that that gentleman that I mentioned a moment ago started working with is one that is known as the metabolic blend, slim and sassy. For the guys, we call it cut and confident. <laughs> <laughs> or jacked and jazzy. <laughs> okay, because I mean, who, what guy wants to walk around saying, dude, you gotta throw this slim and sassy oil? <laughs> I mean, kind of like, probably not. So he can call it the metabolic blend or jacked and jazzy or cut and confident. And this is another example of doTERRA's commitment to science. I'm going to put a drop, one drop. I think I got a drop and a quarter there. Um, this is what helps people curb unwanted food cravings, lemon, ginger, cinnamon, grape, grapefruit, and lemon, ginger, cinnamon, grapefruit, lemon, ginger, cinnamon, grapefruit. What am I missing? <laughs> missing one. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Peppermint. It's such a beautiful smelling and tasting blend. Mm. Curbs unwanted food cravings, helps you break down excess fat in your cells, and helps you to drop the excess weight. And so he's really happy because he's able to do all of those things and work out and be in less pain. And so if you are working with an essential oil and it is lemon, peppermint, wild orange, lime, green mandarin, ginger, basil, rosemary. Are these things that you would normally eat? Yes. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not a green mandarin, but <laughs> the essential oil is called breast from the rind when we work with the citruses. Um, trying to think, dill, cardamom. I mean, if you are working with a pure essential oil, you bet your booty, you should be able to take it internally because it's coming from a food source. So if you pick up an, an, a bottle of essential oil and it, tell, it tells you that you can only work with it aromatically, that it's not for topical use, or it's only for aromatic and topical use, but not for internal use, take the bottle and put it back on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're breathing it in, it's going to your brain. And that means it's got to be of the highest grade possible because we do not want to undermine our brain function. We do not want to undermine our neurological response. We do not want to undermine our respiratory, immune system, hormonal, lymphatic, digestive systems. We don't want to undermine anything with a quality of product that is far from 
the best. We always want to work with the highest grade. Okay. So like I say, you know, when you take an essential oil and um, here's my, here's my pink pepper. Okay. Same thing. I could use this in my salad, my hashtag big salad dressings <laughs> and take it in internally because this is coming from a food source. So that should be something that you, that should be a bar that you hold and a standard that you hold high for yourself whenever you're choosing an essential oil. A okay, few, so there you have, yeah, go ahead. Let me interject real quick. You know, a few of our listeners uh, remember that I once had an organic chemistry company and we, we uh, manufactured green cleaning products back in the day. And, uh, mm -hmm. and when we bought our raw materials and a lot of those raw materials were essential oils, if essential oil A cost $10 a quart, the food grade essential oil costs $30 a quart, and the medical grade essential oil cost $60 a quart. And that was all due to impurities. So if you're going right. into the dollar store and buying essential oils, you can just about bet what quart that came from before it was diluted. Right. And not just diluted, but sometimes containing fungicides, pesticides, herbicides, things that we are doing our best to stay away from. The whole point of using essential oils, everyone, is to work with something that's safe, natural, and effective. If we're using something that's creating a detriment and a downgrade to our health, then we have to figure out a way to dig ourselves out of that. And that's an expense. We're supposed to be investing in our health and elevating when we work with essential oils so that we're actually getting more benefit than the money that we put into actually buying it, right? We actually get more benefit and um, health upgrade when we work with these oils over time because they're always elevating our well-being. There's always a cost associated with quality. And in this case, you cannot replace these essential oils with anything of inferior quality and expect to get the same results. And if you're taking more time to try and figure out your health or get the results that you know you deserve now, that time lost is something you never get back. And so when I work with my clients, my goal is to help them get the fastest results in the safest way in the most effective way, because that's money in the bank. <laughs> No, ab absolutely. And every time you, you shortchange yourself, you're throwing a new variable into your health equation. And right. you can't afford to do that. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So I hope you've enjoyed this, everyone. We've got those three easy ways, right? Aromatic, <laughs> topical, and internal. Yep. Okay. And, and I, I will post a recipe for a, a green mandarin teeny. <laughs> Teeny. Imagine that. Somewhere in Malibu, they're drinking green mandarin teenies and they're excited about it. And they're paying $20 yeah, you a can glass. Make there mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> you can make mocktails with your essential oils. Mocktails. Uh, yeah. yeah, mocktails. All right, Joyce, any <laughs> final thoughts? I know. I'm never done speaking. Okay, really quickly, everyone. For those of you who are watching and are curious to learn more about essential oils, I was curious. I was super, like, I don't know cynical in the beginning. I was like, how are these things working? And then I started seeing all these amazing transformations with people. So my team and I have created these monthly group health studies with essential oils so that you can learn more about a specific health issue that you might be having and work with two essential oils to target that issue. We have four different health tracks in the essential oil study for June. And so this is an invitation for you to fill out the application that's listed right be below this video in our show notes. And you get to pick one health track, either digestion, stress, sleep, or discomfort, pain, right? Pick one health track. I will be in touch with you to let you know if your application is approved. And the study is a $300 value. You just have to pay $15 for me to put some custom essential oils together for you that you get to work with for an entire week. We have a private Facebook group. You get private customized coaching from me for the entire week. This is typically something that's only accessible to my private clients, but it's one of the ways that I give back in terms of educating people with safe and natural solutions because I'm so passionate about making sure that you're not doing things to sort of undermine your health. We really want to help you to upgrade 
I've watched so many people for so many years lose quality years of their life. And I really want to make sure that we can support you in moving the, moving forward and leaving your struggles behind. And essential oils are one of the fastest ways that you can do that. So in this study, you get uh, science-backed education and you get some really cool videos that are all educational. It's a very educationally focused study. There's no obligation to buy anything. However, of course, at the end of the study, if you do want to get moving forward, we have some incredible bonus bundles for you to do that and support you with ongoing education. So right below this video, there is that application. I invite you to fill it out, share it with a friend who might be struggling if you are doing great and you don't feel like you need essential oils. I'll also just say you don't have to be suffering to work with them. I work with a lot of individuals who have excellent and superior health. However, they acknowledge that they have been using synthetic versions of things that they want to change over into natural products. And so they sometimes come to me because they want to upgrade for the future. So, you know, we use oils on the daily so that we don't have to wait for something to go wrong to start paying attention. And so if that's you, you can also join the study and I will be happy to support you throughout the week, June 6th through 12th, by the way. Wow. Thank you, Joyce. This has been Justin Case and Joyce Rockwood sharing three easy ways to use essential oils. Thanks for joining us. Remember free gifts, additional information, and links are provided in this video's read more. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay connected and please connect with Joyce in the links so you can learn a few healthy suggestions. How to not go banana. <laughs>